we have this equilateral plate and we simply need to find what is the time period if it is hung about this as axis one of the sides as axis and then we need to find what is the reduced length of this pendulum so reduced length is we just find the time period of this compound pendulum and then we compare it with the time period of a mathematical pendulum so we know of a simple pendulum simple or mathematical pendulum time period is 2 pi root l by g so when we compare this with the time period of this pendulum whatever l we get that will is that is the reduced length of this compound pendulum so we'll see that so first let's find the oscillation period so we know oscillation period for a compound pendulum is 2 pi root i about x is divided by c c we will get from the torque here sorry here sorry here and i about o o dash we have to calculate so that's a basic calculation for moment of inertia and c will be will get from torque so we know for an equilateral triangle in fact for any triangle the centroid is where the center of mass is and centroid is at a distance h by 3 from this side so if you displace it by angle theta the restoring torque will be mg into this distance h by 3 into theta so this is the value of c in this formula and now let's calculate the moment of inertia about o o dash so let's take a small strip at a distance x from the edge so whenever we take a triangle and if we have to find this length of a strip it's always better to take the x from the vertex vertex instead of from here so then this length is a bit simpler to calculate anyway so if this is x this is h minus x and a small moment of inertia of this strip about o dash will be dm into h minus x whole square now dm is area of the strip divided by total area into mass so area of strip is this length into dx and this length is twice of this length and this length is x ten thirty degree so twice of x ten thirty degree into dx this is the area of the strip divide by h square by root 3 this is the area of a equilateral triangle of a height h times m into h minus x whole square so this is the small moment of inertia so total moment of inertia will be integral of that limits of x will be from 0 to h we do that and we get the value of i o dash so we put that here we put the value of c here and we get our time period now the reduced length so we compare this with this and we can see reduced length is h by 2 so these are the answers all right